Hi, I'm Ryan Darty, a professional beach volleyball player, and this is The American Athlete. My name is Ryan Darty. Uh, nickname is The Avatar. I'm a professional beach volleyball player, and I'm here in Manhattan Beach, California. My sports journey is a long and circuitous one, but it's been pretty fun so far. Uh, so I started as a baseball player, went uh, to college at Notre Dame, played for three years, signed a minor league deal with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, after three seasons, got released. All of a sudden, didn't have anything to do, didn't have any sport to play. So I found the sport of beach volleyball. Me and a buddy of mine uh, bought the cheapest ball we could find and went down to the uh, beach every weekend and got crushed by high school kids. And I decided that if I want to play this as much as possible. So I packed up my Jeep, uh, drove cross country from New Jersey to California and uh, moved out here without a job, a place to live lined up. And uh, within about four years, I was a professional beach volleyball player traveling the world, getting paid to play uh, the game I love. So uh, it's been a pretty fun, rewarding trip. Everybody's got their own kind of routine, their pre-match, uh, what they think they need to do. Uh, the real big difference between the professional guys and the like amateur level, the guys that are trying to work in, is consistency. Those top guys are not only very good, but they're very good a lot of the time, and that takes a lot of practice and a lot of preparation and making sure that everything's in order. You know, we train on the beach, practicing two hours a day, I'd say three days a week. Sometimes we do four, but usually about three days a week in season. And then we will get uh, some form of conditioning and lifting in uh, the other three or four days a week. So uh, there's very few complete days off. You're usually trying to do something, even if it's just a rehab workout. Uh, but you're always making sure that you're moving because you know if you're not uh, moving forward, you're kind of standing still in the sport. Then uh, you just have to go out there and compete as hard as you can. Your partner, it's your, your spouse for the season. Like it's surprising how close you two get. Just, you know, you travel together, you compete together, you get frustrated and win and lose and all the other emotions that go with, you know, something that you really want to happen. So I have a great partner this year who and both of us are very low key. We're not, you know, yellers and screamers at each other, but I've had all the entire range of people yelling and screaming at me and uh, noticed that I did not play particularly well in those situations, but you know, everybody's got to find their mesh, their yin and the yang, you know, the partner that completes them. So uh, I, I'm really happy with my guy this year, and hopefully we can do some good things in this tournament. Manhattan Beach is the icon of beach volleyball for American beach volleyball players. Like everybody dreams about winning this one, getting their name on the pier. It kind of means that you've joined an upper echelon of players. For me, it's also really special because I rode my bike down here. I live, you know, uh, one town down in Hermosa Beach. So, uh, you know, this is a super fun tournament for us. The fans really come out in force and they love it. And they're really knowledgeable about the game. So uh, this is uh, truly a special one. It should be on everyone's bucket list. I think the pros might see the chess game happening a little bit more than the amateurs. So you're just out there having fun. You see the guy hit the ball really hard into the angle and uh, it looked like a great swing where, uh, you know, professional levels, maybe we give them that swing a few times in order to try to take that away at a later point. You know, like try to see if you can bait them into doing something that you want them to do. It's a difficult thing and, you know, you have to really be able to uh, kind of count on yourself as an offensive player to, to be delivering over and over again. And again, sometimes it doesn't work. That's the, the beauty and the madness of the sport. Yeah, I felt like I became a professional beach volleyball player. In my first pro tournaments that I played with where I was in the main draw, I played with a guy named Casey Patterson. First time in the tournament, we make it to the finals to play against the defending gold medalists, Phil Dahlhauser and Todd Rogers. We ended up beating him in three. Huge upset, like nobody beat him in the country that year. Phil has beaten me plenty of times since, but uh, I still have that first one on him, and uh, that, was, that meant a lot to me. My goal has always been to see how good I could be. When I left baseball, I, I felt like I was a little bit more in the tank. Where this sport, I feel like I can just keep pushing as much as I can and see how good I can be. And that way, whatever level that is, I can you know, tip my cap and walk away with my head held high.